Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, then keep watching. Alrighty, so I've got my binders out here for my savings challenges, and I am gonna be playing some savings challenges today but I wanted to shuffle a few things around in my binders and let you guys know what's going on with this save 4K binder that I just started. So let's get right into that. Alrighty, so this is my normal savings challenge binder. It has a couple different savings challenges from different, um, different people, different Etsy shops, and it does have budget with Ira's um, dice challenges and it has like all of his dice challenges. So recently I started this 4K savings challenge binder, which is budget with Ira's mega dice bundle. And so it has the save 130, it has save 178, uh, save 226, save 294, save 322, save 490, save 2360, and it, all of it, if you were to save all of these amounts and complete this entire thing, marking off all of the amounts, you would have saved $4,000. Now, my plan was to get through this entire binder in order to pay off my last credit card and my phone because my last credit card is is around 3000 something and my phone is around 900 something so the $4000 would completely get me credit card debt free and um like phone debt free I guess you could say but here is the thing while I would be saving to complete this binder, I am actually accruing interest every month. And although I really want to be able to just pay that card in like one go and not have to worry about like little chunks, little chunks and seeing it go down slowly, I wanted the satisfaction of being like, boom, it's paid off. But financially, it just doesn't make sense to do it that way. I'm paying so much in interest every month that it's really better if I just chunk it away and put the money right onto the card every month rather than trying to save up for it. So because of that, I am going to unstuff this money and I'm going to transfer it into the dice challenges that I've already started from Budget with Ira. This way, the money that's for debt each month, the snowball is really going onto the credit card and um, I'm able to throw a lot of money at that credit card and not put it into savings challenges, which makes me sad because I like to play with the money first, but it's smart. It's a smarter way to do it financially, so that's what I'm going to do. I also, at some point, and I'm not gonna do this today, I need to prop swap some of this because it doesn't make sense for all this money to be sitting here, it needs to be in the bank, either accruing interest in a high yield savings account or just being safe and secure in the bank. So I will be doing that, but I'm not gonna be doing that today. So today I'm gonna take the money out of here, place it into here. We're gonna say goodbye to the 4K until I've completed some of these other challenges. And then I'm gonna play some savings challenges games, but I'll show you what I'm doing and that will be at the end. Also, at some point, I have a little bit of happy mail that I need to open up and you guys might be shocked at what I have. Um, but for now, let's get to unstuffing this and uh, yeah, I feel sad because I really like this 4K binder and I only just started it. But I mean, if it needs to be done, it needs to be done, you know, just making sure I've got everything in frame. Yeah, it definitely needs to be done because... I don't know, I just need to be making the best decision as far as that interest goes. So with these smaller ones, I think I'm gonna put them into the 330. So we'll put, um, let's put the save 130 and in there and we'll put the save 178 in there and 
Let's see, maybe I'll do one more here. Let's do this one as well. So the 226 has 10, 11, 12, 13. So we'll put all of this in there and then I'll just mark off like the highest denomination on the back. So I've got 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. So I've got $28, which means I can mark off two tens and an eight. So I think that's what I'll do. So we'll go 10, 20, 8. All right, hopefully I did that right. So I'm going to count it again. 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. And we marked off 10, 10, and 8. So let's pop this in here. Yeah, it's sad. But I need to complete these ones before I tackle. I feel like sometimes I just get so excited and I just want to tackle every single savings challenge out there. And it's like, whoa, whoa, let's reel it in. Let's put this binder back away. We will get to it. We will get to all the things. All right, so I'm gonna put this one, this $10 from the save to 94. And I'm also gonna put this $10 from the save 322. And I'm also gonna put this money, it looks like there's a 20 in here from the save 490. So that leaves the save 2000 left and we've got 20, 30, $40 going into the save 1050. So if we flip this around, that actually means we could mark off two 20s and I think that's what I'll do. So 20, 30, 40, and I'm gonna be marking off a 20 and a 20. And I noticed last time I forgot to mark off, so I just marked those in black, but I'm just gonna leave it. I mean, I could go over it, but. It's not like it really matters. All right, there. So those should be all good. Again, I did 220, 20, 40, uh, 20, 30, 40. And yeah. <laughs> all right, so that's going into this save 1050. So let's pop that in there. And then the last one that we have in this binder is the save 2360. And I will pull that out and put it in the save 2000. So that will go there. And that leaves this binder completely empty. It will have to go back on the shelf. And it will come out again, just not right now. So we'll put this one away. And let's see. So going into the 2K savings, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. That's right. I rolled a 90. So I definitely want to be able to mark off a 90 in this challenge. That way, all of the effort is going into getting one thing completed first. So let's mark off a 90. Perfect. And that is that for condensing that down and swapping that over. Um, all of these have their money now. So let's get into the next thing, which I think is going to be my happy mail. You guys are going to be, I don't know, I think you're going to be shocked. Like, Kelsey, you just put away the 4K savings challenge because you're not ready to tackle it yet. What are you doing getting this next challenge? All right, let me grab that. If you guys follow Budget with Ira, you might know what this is because he sells something in a rolled tube like this and I got my hands on it. So let's open this up. And again, I'm trying really hard not to show my address, but this is like a circular thing. So we'll see how this goes. It's got some strong rainbow duct tape on the end there. And let's see if we can pop this off. Perfect. All right, a couple of stickers, a couple of placeholders. They're so cute. They're so pretty. I love them. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. A thank you so much, Bestie, which has a savings challenge here. Sorry, I just had to cut because I think my address rolled away on me. <laughs> um, but anyways, it has my shipping packing slip in there so let's see what we got so we got the save six thousand so this is his save six thousand poster and yeah i'm really excited about this actually 
All right, another sticker. And here it is, guys. This is the Save 6000. Look, another placeholder was rolled up in there in the dice for the challenge. And it's so big, I don't even think I can get it completely on. But this is what it looks like. I'll just scan you guys through. It's literally so big that it's like the size of a poster. And I am going to hang this on my wall. Um, so that is the Save 6K. So you guys saw it, the Save 6000 6K poster from Budget with Ira. Definitely going to tackle that, but it's not going to be until after I complete that 4K binder at some point. So um, this is what it comes with. It comes with a little envelope. It comes with these six dice. You roll all six dice and you mark off that giant poster until you roll your way to $6,000. These dice are so cute too. I love the color. Oh, I wish I could start it, but guys, I can't. But I got these beautiful $2,000 um, prop notes for when I do start that challenge because two, four, six, there's just 6K right there. Um, that way I don't have all of the money um, sitting at the house. Again, I am concerned with safety. And so um, I definitely will be using prop money when I tackle that. But let's set all of this stuff aside because... Um, we're going to actually play some savings challenge games today, and it won't be this 6K poster. Alrighty, so I got my binders back out, and my plan, because you guys know I used to play this, um, this binder uh, for my debt, but I'm not going to be doing that anymore. I'm just going to be paying the debt in a very boring way, um, but it's good. But I still like to play these games, and so because I really don't have all of my money until the end of the month, what I've decided to do is play with IOUs so that I can still play a few times throughout the month instead of playing only like one time with a bunch of money at the end of the month. I'm gonna try this out and see how it works. Just being able to play some of these games weekly but putting IOU slips and then at the end of the month when we have all our money that goes towards savings, we can, um, I can just pay it back and allocate it to the games that I've already played. So let's start with this binder. So this is my big A5 that holds the savings challenge games that are in here. And um, I do play Bunko Against Time on Mondays live. We tried to play this live, the first live that I was supposed to be included in. It didn't work out. We had some technical difficulties. No worries there. But um, yeah, I did play. And so I do have an IOU for 37. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this IOU into the Bunko folder. And then we will start with Paradise Island Savings. And I have a $5 IOU on that one already, but I will write that a little bit cuter and I'll tell you what's going on with that one. But first things first, let's go to Bunko. And because I play this one on Mondays, guys, I'm not actually gonna play Bunko today. So I'm just gonna pop the 37 that I owe into, bun into Bunko right down in. Yeah, so that 37 went down into Bunko. So that one is all set. So let's take a look at Paradise Island Savings. And this is Paradise Island Savings. This is from Tracy Monster here on YouTube. And she is Tracy Monster Savings on Etsy. And that is where I got this game board. But let's swap this IOU. Actually, we're gonna have an IOU, so I'll just add the five dollars to it when we, um, when I finish this one. So let me grab a dice. All right, so I got my dice. I got my scratcher tool in case we run into a scratcher. And the reason I have a five dollar IOU is because when I was editing, I noticed that I forgot to put a five dollars in. Um, for one of these. And so I was like, oh, I owe that $5. So yeah, that's why I've got that $5 there. And I think we were right here. I haven't made it all the way to the end yet. And so I'm going to start from here and I'm just going to roll and see what we get. All right. So we got six. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, which is $1 here. And I just realized I'm going to need a way to add all of these up so that I'm keeping track of how much I owe total because yeah, I don't have cash that I'm pulling. So why don't we grab 
this. Let me set my IOU up here. So this little IOU, I will just tell you guys that this is one of my creations in my Etsy shop. And so if you like it and you want to get a digital download or a physical copy, you can check out my Etsy store, which is linked in the description below. Also, anything that you guys see in my videos is linked in the description below. If you like this game board or any of the other games that I play, they are all linked below. All right, so there's my $1, so let's add the $1 there. Perfect, so I've got my $1, and then I only have like one more to go here. So I'm gonna roll again, and it's a three. So I'm gonna go one, two, and I'm gonna call that complete, and I'm gonna mark off this one for 20. So let's color this one in. Wait, wait, wait. So I got a three. So if I was to go one, two but then start over again and go back i would be at three and i would get to scratch that off so i think that's what i'm gonna do that's definitely what i'm gonna do all right so we're calling whoa 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 okay so we're calling it one two starting back over again for three and scratching this one off i like this oh it's five all right so i got a five i'm not gonna color it because i didn't color the other scratchers so I'm just going to do the five and add it. And then I'm going to start from here and I'm going to keep going this way, but I'm going to change colors and we're going to work our way back up the board. So let's do that and we'll roll again. So I get a six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and then six. Again, it's another scratch off. So I'm going to scratch. Guys, I almost blew out my candle. I blew so hard on that scratch off dust. Okay, so it's a small flower. And so that is 15. So I'm going to add 15. And then, so I'm at 21. And then I'm going to keep going. So let's roll one more time. Six. Again, I don't know what is with these sixes. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm only um, counting the spaces that are empty. So that's how I'm doing it. And then I'm gonna use this marker, which is a slightly different color. And this way I can keep track of where I am. And then hopefully I remember next time I play this that I am making my way up the board, not down the board this time. So we shall see, oh crud. I think I pressed some buttons. <laughs> so I had a one plus a five plus a 15 was 21 and now we're adding a one. So 22 and I will make sure in editing that I did that right. So 22 plus the five that we needed originally should be 27. So I'm gonna make this IOU out for 27, 27 there. And I don't know why it wanted to write with the fat end. Okay, so $27 IOU is going down into the Paradise Island. Paradise Island gets $27. Perfect. All right, so let's see what else we got. We did our Bunko Against Time from Tracy Monster. Knockout. I actually completed Knockout last time. And I think I'm going to wait to start this one again because I've got a new game that I want to start, but I haven't started yet. And so the other thing I want to start is my little goth girl scratchers. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. All right, so let's put Paradise Island away and we will scratch. So here is my little goth girl scratchers and I'm going to start, I'm probably just going to do one because I don't want to... Yeah, I just don't want them to go too fast. So I'm gonna start right here in the middle and do this one because she's just so stinking cute. All right, here we go. Alrighty, so we got a three, which is perfect. So instead of writing an IOU, since I only scratched one, it's pretty obvious that I owe $3 for this one. So I'm just gonna stick her right back in and she is just so cute. I love these. These come from Madi over at Budgets and Chaos. And her Etsy shop is linked down below. So definitely go and check her out. But that is the little goth girl savings. So then the next one is my super savings board game. And I absolutely love this one. So let's go ahead and play it. Alrighty, so this is my super savings board game. And when you get this from my Etsy shop, you get a dice. 
uh, random colored dice and you get a set of rules. Um, the rules are basically that you start at the start and you work your way all the way until you get to home. If you land on a color that is the same color as start, you get sent back to the start and you can save either what you land on or what you roll, or you could even just get your total points and then save the total amount of your points at the end. Like you could add the digits together so you can just be flexible with how you want to play. Um, for me today, this time, I think I'm going to save what I roll. So let's give this a try and let's get my calculator out to make sure we keep track. Perfect. And I have this little thing here that I'm going to use to hop along the board. So we're at start and I'm going to roll and I get a six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I rolled a six. So I'm going to save a six. So let's roll again. Oh, it rolled right out of my hands. I got a one. So I'm on seven and I'm gonna add one. All right, let's roll again. Three, one, two, three. So I got a 10, which is great because I didn't get sent home with the 11 and I rolled a three, so I'm gonna save three there. So then let's roll again. Hopefully we can get past this 11 and not onto this 16 so we can make it all the way home. Oh no! All right, so one puts me on 11. Let's add the one and I get sent back to start. All right, so we're at 11 points so far, and I'm gonna try again to get all the way home. I could stop there if I wanted to, but I'm gonna go for it. I want to get home. So three, one, two, three, we'll add three, and let's go again. Two, one, two. All right, so we're on five. We made it past the four, which is good. I need to add my two. Don't forget to add. All right, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, are you kidding? Oh my gosh, guys. Wah, wah, wah. All the way back to start again, but I need to add my six. All right, so I have 22 and I have a decision to make. Do I stop at 22 and say, all right, I got sent home enough, that's it, I'm done, or do I try to make it all the way home again? Guys, I think I'm gonna stop at 22? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to stop at 22. I got sent home enough times. All right, so let me grab an IOU. We'll call it, we'll call it a, <laughs> uh, I mean, hey, when you're playing board games, you don't always win, right? We have to keep this in mind. Like, I can't always win the game. So today we got sent home and we're saving 22 for super savings. And that is that. So... I'll pop this in here, put my rules there, grab out my binder. Super Savings is getting a $22 IOU, and that is that. All right, so then I've got my season scratch and save, my monthly savings. Oh, I've got this other little one from Maddie. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish off with a season's scratch and save. So I'm going to go ahead and do some season scratch and save because I'm working on spring still, surprisingly enough. Um, but these are my season scratch and saves and they are available in my Etsy shop and they are available in a few different denominations if you guys are interested. I didn't scratch off all the way around last time. Ooh, I don't know how I'm feeling about that. But um, I am, uh, so they come in spring, summer, fall, and winter. You can get just one or you can get a whole bundle depending on what you want. And I am working on spring right now. And so I'm going to scratch this one right over here and see what I get. Cute. Alrighty, so this is a cute little watering can for 26 so let me grab out an IOU and a different color this time because I always tend to gravitate towards that pink. And we're going to do 26 into the Season Scratch and Save. And I think that is going to be it for this A5 binder. But I'm going to grab my, um, my other binders because I want to, oops, that's monthly savings. Um, because I want to shuffle a few things around and just take a look at what's in those savings challenges and see if there's anything else that I want to play. So let me set this one aside. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm, since this is my mini binder and I do this weekly, I'm not going to touch this one. And this one, I think I really do 
want to actually play um, the games like like just go for it and play them actually when I do have cash. So I'm not going to play this one. I'm going to keep it so that this is the only binder that I'm playing and putting IOUs in. And then these at the end of the month I will play and then these I play weekly. So that is actually going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and other than that I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!